everybody, I'm Simon. Solomon's Tales number six. I won't bother to catch up, just again watch those videos before. Number five was, well we finished off at, uh, Solomon was, just had an evening with the twins. And it's time to move on from Bangkok. So he's been in Thailand, what, three or four days? He's checked out, Dynasty Inn, Hotel, whatever it's called. Where's he going? North, South, East or West? North, Chiang Mai, Udon Thani, Konken. There's not a lot of bars and girls up that part of the country. This holiday, remember, he wants to be different and get Thailand right out of his system. If he goes over to the west, what's over there? Oh, Kanta Chanaburi, bridge over really quiet, not much over there. If he goes east, he's got Patea, and down below that, Koh Samet, Koh Chang. He's done Patea two times, so no, it's got to be south. And Solomon loves the sea, the beaches, the water. That's not what this holiday is about. However, he's had a few hectic days and uh, wouldn't be a bad thing to get near a beach. So he decides right south. Um, who cares? But he doesn't want to fly. He wants to see Thailand a bit this time on this trip. So he doesn't want a bus. 12 hour trip on a bus? No thanks. Never. <laughs> Taxi, too expensive. Doesn't want to fly. Only alternative left is the train. So, hails a taxi, aircon, taxi meter, and says to the driver, train station. Uh, looks like there's possibly two stations in Bangkok, one for the lines going all over the place, and one going south. So he says he's going to Phuket or that direction. The driver, okay, understands. Heads off to the station. About 30 minutes in the traffic. Station's over near Chinatown. Um, doesn't know train times or where the trains go. You know, Solomon knows there's a train that goes south. He's seen it on the maps. Anyway, gets over to the station. Goes in and starts looking at the maps. There's a line that goes all the way down from Bangkok. And the nearest station will be Siratani. Um, from there, you can head over to Samui or Cross country to Phuket, Krabi. So he thinks, right. Checks trains, 45 minutes, trains going. Fantastic. Goes to the ticket office. Several choices of seat. Um, and the prices are sort of 300 baht to 1,000 baht. So picks the best one. It says first class. He's never been on a train in Thailand before. Thinks, okay, it's going to be quite nice seat. We'll have the first class. Pays the money. Into the station. There's a little cafe there. He thinks, I'll have a bit of breakfast. Off he goes, has breakfast. Then finds his train. It's uh, sat there. And he boards. And he's got a seat number. And he walks down this train and keeps walking. And he finds his seat, which is like, on the one side is two seats. A table and two seats opposite and on his side is a single seat a gap and another single seat it's like a metal seat with cushions on and a big folding down single bed above him and the seat he's on folds into a single bed as well by the looks of it so obviously if you travel at night it's single beds not a very it doesn't seem first class it's sort of okay the cushions are clean and but it's metal it's not that comfy bit hot in the carriage as well thinks oh my god I, this is first class what's the other classes like oh anyway so he gets himself comfortable and uh, off the train goes very slow at about 10 miles an hour trundling along and he thinks oh this is just because it's Bangkok and the lines go over the roads it's just safety and this goes on for about 20 minutes and then the train starts speeding up and thinks, ah, oh, here we go, brilliant, off we go. And it speeds up to about 30 miles an hour and it never speeds up anymore. 
it just sits there at a ridiculously slow speed that a little Honda 125 Wave could go faster past him. And he's thinking, this must be going to speed up. No, it never does. Hours and hours pass. It must be something like four and a half, five hours. Um, he starts off at about 10 the train and it's coming up for about two in the afternoon and he's, he, he can't, oh, he can't smoke on the train, he can't do anything. There's a little woman comes around with coffee, but oh, he's, he's going stir crazy. This is like five hours and the train announces Hua Hin and he remembers Hua Hin Beach, halfway down maybe. Oh my God, I'm not staying on this train for 10 hours. No way. He thinks, to hell with it, I'm gonna get off at Hua Hin. I'll have a night there and reconsider my plans. So, grabs his stuff, gets by the door, in it comes to Hua Hin. Very pretty little station. There's like an old steam train opposite on the other side of the track park there. And he gets off and he thinks, oh, oh God, get off. And he gets off the train. Three in the afternoon, comes out of the train station, all looks very pretty around the station, lots of flowers and garden. Ah, gets the phone out, gets onto Google Maps, got internet, yeah. He bought a DTAC card when he landed in Thailand. Wi-Fi's got everything, brilliant. Looks at the maps, the beach is sort of pretty much straight in front of him, maybe a thousand meters. And he look, he can see down the road, there's a dead straight road going down from the station, down to some traffic lights. And he sees lots of shops and things in the distance, in this right, and he off, off he goes, walks straight down, gets the traffic lights, and that's the big main road in, in Hawaii. And everything on the other side of the road is gonna be hotels, shops, bars, bigger hotels, and beach. Okay, let's find a hotel. And he walks about 50 meters on the other side of the traffic lights, sees a Burger King, just before Burger King, there's two hotels on the right. Turns out they're owned by sisters. The one on the right is slightly better. He walks into that one. Jed Pinong, it's called. And they've got about 30 rooms upstairs, but they show him, the receptionist shows him the pool. Beautiful pool area, breakfast area. And there's five rooms, four rooms, next to the pool, all with sort of glass doors and he's how much of one of those have you got one yes it's about a thousand baht a night i'll have one of those one night we'll see <laughs> anyway hands over cash to the reception desk got his keys they've got a safe uh, like uh, little safe boxes and little room for safe keep your stuff behind the reception they haven't got them in the rooms so uh, the girl mentioned that okay i'll pop stuff in there in a bit Anyway, round to his room. Beautiful room. Nice, big, clean, open plan with a bathroom, um, with a shower, and uh, usual room. Very nice and clean. Right next to the swimming pool. Got a little table and chairs outside the room, and a little um, balustrade there, and then path and the pool. And breakfast is 20 meters away for the next morning. That included breakfast, that thousand baht as well, so very good. And as he came around, there's two girls in the breakfast area. One was um, quite tall, jet black hair long, but she looked like it's different. She looked like a girl from Laos or maybe Cambodia. Very pretty. And the other girl, smaller, blonde streaky hair, a little more shapely, pretty cheeky little grin. They wave and say hello when he comes in. Okay. Anyway. Checks in his room. He needs some food. He saw the Burger King. I'm gonna have a Burger King. Get some uh, substance inside him. So throws his stuff in the room. Back round reception. Puts all his stuff in the safe. Passport, spare money, things, cards, and uh, throws his phone in there. He thinks, I'm not gonna need the phone. I'll find my way around this place. We won't use Google. Explore the old-fashioned way. Um, keeps about five thousand back in his pocket. Throws the keys at reception, steps 20 meters, Burger King has some food. And then Burger King, there was a map on the wall of Huahin anyway, so he has a quick study. 
and he's only a couple of hundred meters from the beach. Now, he's never been to Wyoming before. It's, uh, it's by car, it's about three hours south of Bangkok. So it's on the western side peninsula of Thailand. Um, the water is going to be the bay, it's not the Indian Ocean side. And quite a busy town, a lot of people, a lot of golf courses there, international golf courses and shopping malls. But he'd not really done any research on it, so okay, gonna have a night here, let's see if there's bars and things and we'll see what happens. As is Burger King, comes out the door to the right in the distance, literally two or three hundred meters, you can see just about make out between the little market stalls and tuk tuks and things some water. So he heads down there, and there's a pedestrian bit goes down underneath a bit of an archway. There's some toilets there, onto the beach. Not a bad little beach. It's not white sand, but it's it's nice. And all the way along the beach are the umbrellas and the deck chairs, and behind each section is like little restaurants. So there's strips of people have got a little cafe restaurant, a strip of chairs with umbrellas, and then the water. And there's maybe 50 of those all the way along. So he heads off on his right he notices the Hilton Hotel and he can see over the wall nice big swimming pool but that's about five six thousand baht a night but he can see it he heads the other way towards town walks along the beach beautiful walk everyone's friendly obviously they want him to stop and eat with them but he keeps on walking and the beach this path goes all the way round and up some steps and there's this little bit of a Chinese temple on the top very nice, beautiful place, really nice. Comes around the corner from the temple, heading into town, it's a bit of a road stroke lane, and about 50 meters along, um, shop starts. There's lots of massage shops there. And this is sort of, I don't know, end of the afternoon. And he thinks, don't know how long I'm gonna stay here. He starts seeing a couple of bars ahead and he thinks, uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's different, never been here before, it's relaxing. Anyway, just in front on the left on the corner, there's a massage shop. Lots of girls there. 300 baht for a massage, oil massage. 250 baht for a foot massage. Hmm. That'd be nice relaxing. Get myself a foot massage. He heads in. And the girls give him the menu and stuff, and he thinks, uh, oh, very nice. He sits down, has a foot massage, treats himself, very nice indeed. And he notices other guys coming in and going upstairs, and he inquires, oil massages upstairs, will you lie down? Oh, nice, okay. Anyway, has his massage. He's tired from that train journey, it's worn him out. He thinks, I'm just going to walk along the road, I'm going to go back to the hotel, I'm just going to chill for a bit, I'm maybe have a nap. So he comes out of the massage, walks along, and there's a few bars, it's sort of, I don't know, five in the afternoon, girls are sort of popping up, getting ready in bars. There's quite a few bars along there. He gets to the end of the road, turns left, and he can see Burger King at the top, so he knows where he is. He starts walking up, and there's another street on his left of bars, and another street on the right. He didn't realise there were so many bars here. Quite a few girls milling around. And lots of little Thai restaurants and uh, food on the street. And on the side of the street, little, sort of little cafes. Looks fantastic. Really good. Back to the hotel. Grabs his key. Into his room. Decides, that's it. Having a nap. Has a shower. Has a sleep for a couple of hours. He thought, I'll go out this evening. Have a look what's what. As a kip. And there he is in Hua Hin. Nothing exciting happened. Hmm. And I've been talking for so long. <laughs> oh dear. There's a knock on his door. And he opens the door. And it's the girl from the sort of breakfast area. The little cheeky one with a towel. They hadn't put a towel in his room for if he wanted to swim or anything. And uh, 
she passed him the towel and he says thank you very much and she gave him a big smile and winks at him uh, and then places something on top of the towel and turns around and walks off and he closes the door comes in looks at the towel and on top is a little bit of paper with a phone number on it he thinks what that girl's just given me her phone number what's this all about I'll have to leave it there guys Oh well, phone number. Cheeky little girl. First night in Hawaii. Hmm, interesting. I'll see you soon.